people do want to know how you have managed to make this change from tenor to baritone. Haven't you had to reinvent yourself as an artist in a certain way? Because you are no longer the romantic hero. You are playing father roles. You are sometimes playing the villain. I mean, yeah. uh, you have to sing differently as your whole stage persona has changed, hasn't it? Well, uh, since physically I look more like a father and grandfather also, <laughs> the, that, the, that the just lover, you know, the Rodolfo, the, or the Cavaradossi, or um, you name it, Romeo especially. So, but I, I mean, I was growing up listening to the most beautiful baritone roles ever. And now and then I was tempted to sing one of the arias of baritone, you know. And sing. How do you feel as a baritone on stage? It must be different. Come on, tell us more. Most of the singers that I have around, they could be my children, my, my, my own sons or daughters, and some of them granddaughters and grand, grandsons. I feel that the best music that Verdi wrote is always the music, the duets, the scenes, and there are father and daughter like you hear it in Rigoletto, you hear it in, in Luisa Miller, you hear it in, in uh, Simon Bocanegra, in Pagliacci, in Giovanna d'Arco, in the, you know, and then for the, from the song, you hear it here, in the Foscari, in Vespri Siciliani. Uh, so that has been living with me, you know? So I think with the maturity, you have to feel differently, I mean, so you, uh, your whole body, uh, body language is different. You're doing this relatively new role with us, I Due Foscari, the Doge, mm -hmm. Francesco Foscari. It's an opera that was written in 1844, just after Ernani, and two operas before Macbeth. In between, there's Giovanna d'Arco. Macbeth is a key uh, opera in Verdi's oeuvre. Um, this one comes two titles before. It was done here in 1995. What attracts you to it? The idea, it came to me in 2001, uh, anniversary of Verdi, I did a recording of all the tenor arias. And finding the, the tenor arias of, uh, of uh, Jacopo, I, then I started to get interested in, in the score. And I said, wow, this is beautiful. And especially the third act is a, is a two de force for the, for the baritone. For the, baritone. the sensibility of Verdi because of losing his children when they were very young. I mean, sing with the, with the, with the son. I mean, the, the part of the tercet in the second yeah. act is so, so deep. Even singing of the pain of the son with the daughter-in-law is amazing. I mean, you, you leave the theater and, uh, and you say, well, it's a pity. This opera is not done more. But when you have the possibility to see it, I mean, it's, it's really a great, great work. Many, many great years to oh, come. Tony. We love you dearly. Thank you. It's so great to work with you. <laughs>